new region? I don't know. Either my 50th or 51st region. But yeah, a local bus just casually going to the three different countries. But okay, now I have to look at my options and figure what is the best way, what is the quickest way to get to the Italian town close to the courts. So Google Maps actually suggested a better and quicker route than Rome to Rio, surprisingly enough. So we'll be using exclusively trains. So one, two, three, four, five, six p.m. And then my cords are like somewhere around here. Probably probably make it there in five hours so by then it will be dark but at least it'll be at least there will be sunlight for at least like three four hours after that i can just use my flashlight so it's okay it's gonna be a complicated route hopefully it goes without any problems man i give them a mouthful because there are five different trains, so they had to figure shit out. They managed to sell me the ticket, not actually to Morbemio, but the station before at Tirano. Perfectly fine, I can buy a new ticket from there. Morbemio is not actually like the closest point in the courts. So, Tirano is actually really good. Once I get there, I can figure out what my next step should be. If I just buy a ticket from there, then I'll be there. I'll be there at 6 p.m. Regardless, so it's all good. They did pretty good job at like quickly getting me the tickets, which obviously did cost a lot because it's five different trains and the the overall distance and time is quite big. But they only had 10 minutes like before my train left, and they managed to quickly get everything done. Now I got five minutes. It is at the fifth platform, Lamp Quart. So this is my first train out of <laughs> five. Oh, so this is the map of Swiss train system. I think, yeah, we've all heard of how good and efficient it is. I guess today I will find out. But the country hear the most when people talk about the best train systems in the world is Japan but I've not been in Japan yet so I have yet to experience it it was kind of funny like at first you didn't understand where I was trying to go and then I showed my phone I said it's in Italy uh, <laughs> and this was in German I always start with German even if it's like a touristic area or whatever only place where I start with English it's airports because again if they know English which I mean if it's a young person in a touristic area the likelihood is like 95% if they do then they'll switch to English and that's that but yeah she didn't know that I spoke English so <laughs> so she translated something in Italian and I was like no 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 I'm not Italian I'm just going there We have now touched the 51st region in the world. This is Grishau, which is actually for Switzerland, it's a very large region. It takes up pretty much entirety of southeast of Switzerland. So this will be my last new region for today. Because even Tirano, even though it's more east from Morbegno, it's still 
um, part of Lombardia. So yeah, now I've got seven minutes to catch the next train. After that, I'm only gonna have three minutes, so I don't think there's gonna be any talking and the filming, there's only gonna be running. Man, just look at this. Just look at this shit. Mountains in every direction. This will be me. It waited for us, no way. Any minute we left, it's so good that they waited for us. So I don't have much time.
actually kind of cold right now. I think now we're in the Italian speaking part of Switzerland. And it's pretty cold now because the altitude is like almost two kilometers right now. So this might be the highest I've ever been. Maybe. Bridges and through 55 tunnels. The views keep getting better and better. There was like a very sick waterfall along the way, but I was on a I was on a phone. I had to call my operator because uh, I exceeded my data usage. I just needed to rise the limit. I mean, it's not even necessary. I mean, it was just in case I have to. In case I will re return to Switzerland at some point, because the moment I get to, I, the moment I go to Italy and European Union, then generally it will still work because because of that 34 gigs free deal. <laughs> I don't know how I'm the only one here. But this seems like a very touristic area. This train is going to Italy and um, it was said that there are, there's going to be very beautiful views on the way. Kind of interesting. Alright, now we can go. But at the moment I get to Morbegno. Uh, I'm going to have to buy some food, uh, maybe some water. I don't know if there's gonna be any streams on the way or something. And uh, I need going to buy cargo pants. The ones I had they were really good, I was very pleased with them, but then they fucking tore in Switzerland. In Zurich. So I'm gonna have to buy new ones. It's definitely gonna be a bit colder up there. Even right now I'm a little cold, honestly. I believe um, that mountain right there is the border between Switzerland and Italy, but um, it's still gonna take us a while until we get to Italy. Yeah, this is definitely the highest I've, I have ever been in. It keeps going higher and higher. that this snow never actually melts. It's so unbelievably beautiful. You can see the Cambrena glacier as well as Pitz Cambrena. It's like I'm taking a tour or something. Meters. It feels like I paid for I I didn't just pay for the journey, I paid for the views.
7, uh, 5 p.m. Do you think that some people like actually live in these areas and they see these views every day and they don't give a shit? Because it's not special to them anymore. Request stop. The beauty is indescribable. Sucks. 